Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 10.5, Metric Measurement. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson activity is to compare, contrast, and convert metric units of measurement. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, so far in this unit, we have covered customary units of measure. That's what we use here in the United States. Inches, feet, yards, miles, cups, tons, ounces. Those are all units of customary. Today's lesson, we're gonna jump into a whole different unit of measurement called the metric system. The metric system is used in most of the world and it has a different aspect. Instead of being 12 of these and eight of those and four of these, and really hard to remember which is which, the metric system all runs on base 10. So everything is either getting bigger by 10 or smaller by 10. Let's read the unlock the problem and see if we can solve this problem. It says, using a map, Alex estimates the distance between his house and his grandparents' house to be about 15,000 meters. About how many kilometers away from his grandparents' house does Alex live? Let's begin by looking at the purple box. It says, underline the sentence that tells you what you're trying to find. Well, we are trying to find about how many kilometers from his grandparents Alex lives and circle the measurement that we need to convert. We need to convert 15,000 meters to kilometers. So the metric system is based on place value. Each unit is related to the next one by being smaller by a power of 10. So if we start here in the middle where it says meter, liter, gram, if we get bigger, we multiply by 10. If we get smaller, we divide by 10. So we are currently looking in the meters. We have 15,000 meters and we want to know how many kilometers that is. So that is here. So you can see we're going to go one, two, three jumps up, which means that we are going to be multiplying by 10 and 10 and 10. Now keep in mind, this is not 10 times three, it's 10 times 10 times 10, similar to when we did exponents. Meters are 10 or three powers bigger, which means if I have 10 times 10, that's 100, times 10, that is 1,000. So a kilometer is 1,000 times bigger than a meter. Make sure you have all this written down because step two is on my next slide. Step two, determine the operation to be used. Well, I am going from meter to kilometer, which we just saw was bigger. So I am going from something smaller to something larger. Which means that I am going to divide. So if I have 15,000 meters, I'm going to divide by 1,000. And remember we got that because it was 10 times 10 times 10. And when we do that, we can cancel our zeros. So one, two, three means that it is 15 kilometers. So Alex's house is 15 kilometers from his grandparents' house. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's keep going. Another way. Jamie made a bracelet that is 1.8 decimeters long. How many millimeters long is her bracelet? So you can see here in the diagram that it starts in decimeters and it is one decimeter and 0.8 centimeters. But we need to know how many millimeters that is. And the way that we do that is we're going to make everything in front of it, we're gonna take out this decimal, and we're gonna think, hmm, 
If this number were a place value chart, I would fill this in here. And you can also think of that as 1.8 times 100 because it is 1, 2 times 10 times 10 and 10 times 10 is 100. So what I did was I took 1.8 and I multiplied by 100. So 1.8 decimeters is 180 millimeters. I got rid of my decimal when I multiplied. So Jamie's bracelet is 180 millimeters. Great job so far, fifth graders. Today's lesson activity is the Try This Part A, right underneath where we were just looking. I've gone ahead and copied a metric chart next to it to help explain how to solve this problem. Remember, you can look in your agenda for this, or you can look at the previous page. So it says we're going to convert 247 milligrams to centigrams. So a milligram is here, and we want to move it to a centigram. So that means that we're going to look at a smaller unit going to a larger unit. So that means that we are going to divide. So let's do this one step at a time. First, let's think about 247 milligrams divided by 10, because that would get us to a centigram. So we have 247 divided by 10. Remember that when we divide by 10, our decimal moves because our number is getting smaller. So our decimal moves to the left. So now our answer should be 24.7 centigrams. The next part says that we're going to change it to a decigram. So now we're going to go one step, two steps, which if this is 10 and this is 10, means that we are going to divide by 100 which means that our decimal is going to go two places, just like our number went to the left. So now we should have 2.47. Your job is to fill in how many grams it would be. In order to get grams, you would do one, two, three steps, which means you would have one, two, three tens, which means you would divide by a thousand and your decimal would move one more place to the left. Fill in that answer and we'll talk about it at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.